Hey guys, it's Sonia Lee. So, welcome to cycle day two of my first cycle that I am going to be tracking on here. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I'm a mom to five boys. I have an angel boy and also a angel girl, so seven babies. Well, seven children, but two baby angels, if that makes sense. Um... I recently just lost my baby girl last month on December 19th, and this is my journey through trying to conceive for one last baby. Um, those that don't know, I have multiple sclerosis, so um, I'm dealing with that as well as being 36 in a couple of days. So. I'm really interested to see what happens um, this cycle. So yesterday I began my period. Um, I was exactly 31 days from when I had my little girl. And um, yeah, it came without warning. <laughs> um, but now that I think about it, I, I did have like some signals um, that my body was getting ready, and that was basically, like, I had an increased sex drive, you know, like, right before you're gonna get your period, like, you feel the need to have sex, um, and then I had an increased ha appetite, so I was, like, I've been munching on everything the past couple of days, so, um, <coughs> there's that, so, um, it came without warning, and I've had nothing but cramps and lower back pain, which I never have. Sorry, guys. My throat got dry. Um, so, I'm interested to see if this is going to be an every month thing, because it sucks. <laughs> so, um, today we are on cycle day two, and it's heavier than it was yesterday. In fact, I've been having to change my tampon TMI every like two hours. I try not to go past three because when I did this morning, I kind of bled out. So, um, what is the goal for this month? I am not getting pregnant this month. And the reason is, is because I am on my medication for my MS and it is unsafe to be pregnant on, and I don't have an appointment with my new neuro until March. So the next three, well, this cycle and the next two more are basically going to be me getting in touch with my body, sharing with you guys what's just, you know, going on with me and, um, you know, just tracking. Um, once we get the clear and I'm off the medication, it's going to be a few months of um, testing and making sure I'm okay before we can try. Basically, my MS med is um, not safe for pregnant women and it's not safe to get pregnant on because it can cause fetal dis deformities, abnormalities, and um, so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to come off Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to come off of it. And, um, I have, like, the hiccups. Um, I'm going to come off of it, and then they're going to basically flush my system from the med, and then, um, I will begin a few months of blood work to make sure that this medication is out of my system, and then once we get the clear, which I'm hoping come September, will be the month that we can try. So, um, right now I have... OPKs. <coughs> um, I plan to start taking those um, in eight days on cycle day 10 to see um, when I ovulate and then um, we'll just go from there. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I got my period and we're beginning our journey and it's just weird. It's weird. Um, because today is my baby girl's anniversary since I had her. So, um, it's kind of bittersweet. It's kind of like she was like, let's do this, mom. You deserve a baby. Let's go. So, <laughs> I was not expecting it. My last DNC with my son, um, I didn't get my period for like two months. So, it was very irregular bleeding and, um, 
I was not expecting yesterday to be day one of this new journey. So, <coughs> um, yeah. So, um, I think what I'll do is I will update you guys, um, let's see, maybe mid-cycle, like, after I do the, the OPKs, um, that way there I can show you guys, like, all of them instead of doing every day with the ovulation test, so, um, I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'll update you guys once we are on cycle day, like, 16, 17, and we'll get, like, a mid-cycle update, and then, um, I'll let you guys know when we're going at it again. So, um, yeah, I think after that, the next, um, video besides those two where, you know, I'm showing the ovulation test, and then, um, you know, the day that I start my next cycle, um, I'm going to be talking about the appointment that I have with the OB, talking about the blood work that I did, and just updating you guys on what the results were for that. So, you guys keep your fingers crossed that there's nothing wrong with me, and, um, that we're able to figure out why I keep miscarrying babies. So, um, our baby girl was not planned by any means, um, we got pregnant on the medication that I'm currently on for my MS, so, um, we don't know why she passed, um, because I flushed my system out in, like, a really fast timing, so, um, I think that's it. I'm gonna go, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're starting cycle day two, and this is our first cycle, and I hope you guys, um, join us for our journey. And I just want to wish all of you guys that are trying, you know, a really good cycle. I'm sending all my baby dust to you guys and uh, sending prayers to you guys. Um, in the meantime, just keep me, you know, in your prayers because it sucks not being able to try. Um, I'm looking forward to when we can actively try, but I'm looking forward to sharing this part of the journey with you guys. So, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Um, don't be shy. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!